mentioned, I, I, actually, I really enjoyed this, where you talked about Epcot and going there with your kids and what you saw in the daytime, and then you went at night and you saw something different. And I thought, that that's a good picture for people. Bring that out, that story, and and what you were what what we can learn from that. I don't want to give too much away. I want to let you tell it. The the uh, the notion is that night night seasons in our lives um, are often the greater opportunities that we have for God and God's glory and God's light. To be seen, that there are there are, there are patterns. So I'm a Disney person. I am Mr. Disney, and I'd gone to Epcot thousands, no, not not thousands, <laughs> tens of times. Like, wait a minute, I thought you were supposed to be yeah, working. Yeah, yeah, tens, of, <laughs> tens of times, and wow. and and always during the during the day. But one one time we went at night, and there are these patterns in the cement that at night they are illumined. Mm. You, only, you only see them when it's dark. And there are some aspects of God that we, can on, that we will only see in the dark seasons of our life. Mm. One, because it is then that that is needed to be seen. Secondly, it is then that we are most sensitive to seeing it. Mm. I think that as Christians, we are not those who avoid suffering or the dark seasons. As we mature in God, we become the people who embrace them because there's something for us to see, something for us to know that is only seen and known through this. I know you have a time constraint. You've got some other stuff. You're a busy man. But what we like to do to finish up our show, oftentimes we say, well, here's your water bottle for the week. You know, we are Apollos okay. watered, so we want to give them some of that water. What, okay. what's, a, what's a water bottle that we can leave for our, our audience here to, to sip on? through the week you have been called to god in christ jesus and as a result you have also been called into a world that needs him it is not for for you to present yourself as a perfect person it is more for you to present the perfect god who has you in a process of making you more like him every day. And know that he that has begun a good work in you shall perform it until the day of Christ Jesus. One last thing. How, how can people follow you and, and stay current with what you're doing? Oh, man. Now my people, they're going to get at me because I'm supposed to know my Twitter <laughs> thing and, and everything. And I have no idea. Uh oh yeah. Uh, tw Twitter is at Bishop C R A. <laughs> I love Bishop that. Bishop C R A Jr. Uh, uh, Facebook is Claude Alexander, and I think, oh man, I I should know what my website is. And I just, <laughs> I actually love the fact that you don't know. <laughs> this is this is how you know this is live. Oh, Claude Alexander, <laughs> Claude Alexander Ministries dot <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's good, bro. Oh, hey, thank you so much, Claude, for coming on the show, sharing with us, and uh, just sharing your the gifts and calling that God has laid upon you. And thank you so much for all that you're doing. And I pray God blesses your work, and may He continue to to use your influence to help uh, nourish and, and uh, just guide other people as they're in their walk with Jesus. Thank you. Oh, oh man. Thank you for this opportunity. I've enjoyed it. Yeah.